Oh, really now? You're gonna end it here? Good morning. After long and murky rains, the sun eventually shines. But my cloudy days remain with the school. To me, every day is depressing and time goes by so fast. A life without purpose, it's tasteless and boring. Today, a girl and an old man, they came to school. Just one look and everyone knew they were a pair of wealthy father and daughter. A new student? Hello, my name is Toya, I'm looking forward to... My god, she's so pretty, I don't want her to die. Alright, take your seat at the end of the room. Oh shh, what the mean teacher? Class, be still, I'm going to check the timetable for next week. It won't take long. Hey, you're not from around here, are you? Yes, I'm from Hattin City. It's far away from here. Why did you transfer here? Your school wasn't good enough? It's not that... It's because my parents got divorced, so I... Uh... December 5th, a new student, but seems like everybody ignored her. December 9th. A student standing atop the school building started leaning down, and she fell. Both of her legs broke, bones punched through the skin, blood gashed out. I never thought this way of suicide could cause such a horrible death. December 10th. Everyone seemed to forget the whole thing, but within a day? I have the feeling that people around the school are heartless. Today, at the library, I found a strange painting. It felt like it was looking at me. I have just found a secret room behind the mirrors. December 11th. It's bad, when I was looking out from the windows of another classroom. A rock crashed through the glass and hit my eye hard. It was blurry, but I thought I saw... her. December 12th? It looks like they replaced the broken glass. But every time I give it a glance, I see her blurry shadow. Is she the one who made my eye like this? I can't be sure of anything. December 14, another student dead. They say he used a pen to pierce through his oh my godness ears. Is this Tuan? And more terrifying, he laughed crazy before he died. Even after he died? Still, just like the first time, everyone kept ignoring it. I don't know if they really ignore whatever happened or they were simply too terrified to talk about it. But in the end, why did any of this even happen? I don't think the deaths are coincidental. December 15th. I'm in a secret room I accidentally found out. In here, I found a page from a calendar, a piece of paper with the alphabet written on it and a pen on table. So I are so good the dates of the deaths. 9, 11, 13. I'll write it down just in case this will be some good later on. Because they say that numbers are important. So there's that. I think everything happened for a reason. <coughs> right then, there was a scream. I ran to the classroom in panic to check what was happening. Another death? No, not just one. The number increased. Oh my god! Three, 
Three deaths, okay. There was a crazy thought in my mind about the reason for these deaths. Fifteen. I decided to spend the night here in a secret room. Why do you keep spending nights in this damn school? I would go to another school after the first death. To be honest, my mother would not let me stay in the school after the first day. She would be like, get the fuck away from this place. So why do you... Why? Why? At the school, the night passes by in silence. Strange silence. Unless there is the demon that forces you to make such great decisions. And what's strange is that the silence is... I'm not alone. The new student, Tui, was standing at the secret room's door. Then she opened the mirror and walked in. Now I can be sure of one thing. All of the misfortunes, the star when she came to the school. Oh, so there's something with her. I heard her steps coming closer and closer. By May, into the closet opposite to the desk, I often used to write my diary. I was covering there with fear and anger. The two emotions blended with each other inside me. When I woke up, she had gone and the sun had risen. December 25th. More deaths. I think she killed them all. Why doesn't anyone else suspect her? Why just me? December 24, right now, I'm at the library. You should be at home. It's Christmas. Many students of other classes have transferred away after seeing the deaths. The school has gotten dark and gloomy. I want to be here any longer. I want to get out of here. But then... March 14th. A new semester has started and I don't have to care about that school anymore. It feels so good to be out of that corpse-filled school. But I'm most sad because I won't see him anymore. March 14, tonight, I'm going back to the school and leave everything involved along with the sins I've committed behind. Is it like t another people's diary now? Is this toy? I want to have anything related to that haunted place. Everything I've taken from the secret room I'll hide them at different places where they will never be found. Okay. Though that's the idea, I still someone will discover all of this. Despite the fact that it's a very dangerous thing to be done. For now. And if my wish ever come true, I'll gladly take the consequences. I'm a little bit lost. Goodbye, stormy days. <coughs> no, it was the same person, but... I was really lost, what just happened?